Hello everybody, and welcome to the final episode of the BattleBots Reborn Rebuilt DSL miniseries. Now I did say we're going to go five episodes, and that's what we're going to do today. We've got three more bots on show, and then we'll mention at the end how in the next bi-weekly we're going to talk about the future of DSL on this channel, because we've learned a lot from this. We've learned that my computer can't quite handle it, we've learned that it's pretty tough to win a lot of fights, and yeah, it's also tough to make bots, as you'll see with our third special bot, we don't know who it is yet, at the end of the episode, or towards the end, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I suck at intros, let's just get into the first bot, eh? So the first up today is the Season 2 version of Overdrive, who was sent in by somebody that, you know, I, I kind of can't remember your name right now, and I apologize, I will put a, you know, little text box right here. Um, it, let's take a look. So, it looks a little odd just having these huge ass sledgehammers on um it's yeah but the, besides the right you know let me go back to chassis design very very good decals very good custom skinning done um a little bit more orange would appear but he uh the creator has gone for this little wedge piece to kind of get the shape a little bit better and i think it's a pretty damn good bot even got this little hinge skirt piece which i've i'm, I'm like i'm slowly learning can I, can I click on it that skirt hinge and then he's put these little things on it. I don't know all the parts. Looks pretty compact. Looks like it's gonna kick some ass, I think. We'll find out. I didn't check controls, it's too late. It's gonna be WSAD, I already know it. Time to kick this match what's the weapon? Here. Wait, what's the weapon? stopped of course it did and glitch oh. oh oh come on man well again glitch I don't know why is it what is this the finale it's just like all right let's have more fucking glitches and again that's the third fight in a row and this one I can't get out of easily all right, everybody. Well, welcome back. So, as I probably explained in a clip or something or a text box, when doing overdrive section, there were a bunch of crashes, two of which I was able to just pause the fight and tap out. Where the last one, I had to sign out of my computer so that I didn't have to like shut it down or do any bullshit like that. And basically, I lost all of overdrive's footage. So we're back here with a new quick session to do him again, and then we will go back to what I recorded last night, and we'll show you the other bots that we have in store. But let's go back for Overdrive fight action. All right, let's see what Overdrive can do starting a fresh... Oh, I did change the weapon, that's right. Oh, right, hey, what do you know? This is where my first little issue happened, where I couldn't figure out... Oh, jeez, right. Oh, I'll fucking him up, never mind. It was against Velociraptor in the Octagon, I was struggling to figure out the controls and shit, and yeah. And apparently he's struggling to deal with us. Random thought as we're fighting, so I can show you one long clip. Ooh, there's a piece. So I can show you one long clip of fight footage. Um, I don't think DSL has this going uh, for it. But it would be cool if in some sort of um, robot combat game, you could hit a bot and hit him so badly that you actually fuck up his drive motor. So like, maybe it's smoking in the case like Ross or after we got him smoking and just got him clipped as well. But how cool would it be if then all of a sudden you can't drive correctly and then you as a driver are sitting there like, well, what the fuck's going on? I mean, it'd be frustrating as fuck, but it'd be pretty cool to have that realistic kind of damage. Him losing teeth, though. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. He's got Parkinson's. Oh, glitch again. Really? Really? You'll just get that kind of... Oh, oh. It sucks because I like him. He's good. Look at the way he's just screwing up Critical Emergency. Oh man, he's got some bad bruises. Yeah, there's the pitting. Let the pitting commence. Well done. That was awesome. Where are you? Oh my god, he got stuck, really. I'm accepting it. I don't know how he's stuck. He's got four wheels. There... There's no way. Oh, this could be bad for me. See, I can get out, he can't. That was awesome. What a cute little maneuver from Overdrive. There he goes. 
Oh, that was brilliant. That was a brilliant little move. Okay, so next up is Witch Doctor, and not only is he minus Shaman, it is Season 2 Witch Doctor because of this adorable little Shree mech here. Hopefully it'll work very well. First impression, I mean, we got, looks like, um, I like the use of the stock ram plate here to make that front wedge. A um, little bit of color added in as well. Um, I think everything's going to be fine. I, I like that there's two blades. I think that is a good representation of what his weapon looks like. Let's take a quick peek on the inside. Very, uh, very crowded in there. But uh, whoever the creator is, again, I'll have to make a text box. I forgot to research uh, my notes to see who made him and who sent him in. But yeah, looks pretty good. What piece is that? Oh, man. Those are all different pieces. Look at that. See, this is the fucking intricacy that I could never do with DSL. These are three different parts to make up that part of the wedge. That's ridiculous. I'm somehow taking damage, and I'm not sure what the cause is. So maybe... I don't know. I think that's... No. Can we pop off a wheel now? Yeah, we got a whale! We did it! Whales! Oh, there we go, there we go. Underneath, causing problems, and he's flipped. And he lost a piece. Whoa, something went flying. I approve. Well, that's one weird way to pin a robot. I accept it. There he is. Bitch. Bang! What a hit. Whoa, there goes something. Is that me? Nope, I think it was him. We're good. There we go. Scoring all kinds of points now. Beautiful. Oh, nearly. Bang! And again. Go on, Witch Doctor. Make it happen. Oh, he almost looked like he glitched into the wall there. Got boosted odd. I don't know. Worrying signs. Oh, something's gone flying! One of his little pieces in the drum. Ooh, he's getting me. So now, do I take the pin or take the pod? I think I'm just gonna be smart and take this pin. As much as I really want to rip a pod off, maybe I'll fight him again. Because we'll fight another tournament with him. Oh, wait, he didn't move. Oh, what the fuck. Fuck it. Fuck him. I want it. Oh my god, no, no, oh, oh my god. What's happening? Why am I flying through the floor? Oh my god. I think he's stuck in the floor. I'm literally just floating in the ground, halfway in and out. What is what is happening? He just got counted out. What the fuck is going on? Oh, he's lost a hand! One of four! Come on, you're almost there. He lost another. And he's gone. Good job, Witch Doctor. Got him, got him, got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Yes! No! Yes! Wait! Wow. I thought I lost it for a second. But instead, he lost a flipper and his chances at winning the fight. Yes. No. 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 You wanker! He was 7-0. Oh, and I was going to call it after that. Somehow I lost a part. Fucking horse shit. Well, let's bring Witch Doctor out here. <laughs> so, I mean, I think he's pretty good in appearance. Um, it almost looks too big, the wedge in front, but maybe not. Maybe that's just me tripping. I don't know. But, cute little Shreemek as well. Um, and went, I think, 7-1 and one in recording. I don't know. That last fight was horse shit. And that was the last one he lost. So almost unbeaten, but not quite. And the special third bot in today's episode is one that I said at the very before the series even started I wanted to do and all you guys wanted it and then after the fourth episode I planned for Overdrive and Witch Doctor to just finish the series quickly and you're like oh wait what about this bot? So I said you know what fuck it they want it I better build it myself and get it in so who's ready for Bronco? Who's ready to never see this Bronco recreation ever again? Cause it's so bad okay um so, I guess I gotta talk through the building process. I found all of these little triangle armor pieces, and I knew that I could utilize them, and I did my best. I mean, it looks not, this doesn't look bad, the little tail part. 
It's just that there's these gaps that like I couldn't figure out how to fill them in. It looks especially stupid in the front with the fact that I made the chassis a little bit angled, so it's just it's fucking huge. What the hell is happening here? Um, T minus flipper because I thought the Manadors was in the game. Apparently it isn't. So um, we're just gonna use T minus flipper. It almost covers the distance that it needs to. Just need a little bit more. Um, and then you can see the one thing that went right was this side piece, this um, ram plate, this wide ram plate that is literally in thickness and in length probably perfect for the body I built. And then I just had to come in on the side. I did the two in the back and didn't really work out too well. It was getting kind of crowded in the chassis. And then because I put the little triangle things in the front, I couldn't do these pa panels here as well. So there is a gap. I mean... For my first ever DSL build, it's not bad, but it's kind of shit. So, I'll let you guys judge it in the comments. Um, but we're going to go fight him, and we're going to see how well he does. What do you think? Could Bronco be a little bit bigger? I don't know. I mean, those side... Oh, God, that's coming off. Those side pieces are perfect the way they are, but... I don't know. Maybe he could have been a little bit bigger. And there goes the flipper. Well... This sucks. How have I won that? How the fuck have I won that? How did that? How? What the fuck, man? Oh god, he just took off two in one hit. Get him! Oh, come on! Ooh, the pit. I'll take a pit win. What? Oh no, a side panel. Oh, he's on balance! Oh, we got him! We got him. Okay, wait, wait, wait. One big shove towards the pit. Okay, we're gonna need another big shove towards the pit. How is he moving? Doesn't matter, we won! Yes! Oh, he's got him! Yay! Maybe now's the perfect time to talk about how... I don't remember the subscriber's name, but it was suggested to me that... I should just, you know, do away with the whole point system in this game. Like, if you get knocked out, obviously, you get knocked out. Or if you get pitted, that's the end of the fight. But for certain situations like this, where I'm losing on points, but I've kicked his ass. So, I should just say that I won the fight. Yeah, I'm out of the tournament, but I'll go fight other ones. What do you guys think? I think I'm going to do that for this. Starting, you know, starting with this episode of the DSL miniseries, it's going to then happen in... Um, it's going to happen in the rest of, uh... Every Robot Wars or BattleBots Reborn bot appearance. If I win the fight, because like, it's like when Bulldog Breed went against um, what's his name, Tornado. I kind of got screwed over, and Bulldog Breed actually got screwed over from unbeaten status. So that's the thinking behind it. Because flippers can be good, but you got to be lucky, like Apollo was in his episode. Got him. I can't take him anywhere. Get in. Get in. Yeah! We got him. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go! We got him, we got him, we got him, we got him, we got him. Yes! Oh, Bronco, you are legendary. He might go unbeaten. No. Uh-oh. What's happening to me? The match is over. <laughs> I'll accept that. I'll accept victory that way. Hell yeah. Bronco has gone unbeaten. He is the second robot to do so. So Votronic is not the only one. Um, so let's take a look at Bronco here. Um, I think there was definitely some better parts to him. I think that the flipper actually worked was a plus. Even though it wasn't the piece I was looking for. I mean, it's close. It's close since it's, you know, a, a, from a bot that was on the same team. I like the ability I would have had to use all of these little armor plates to make his wheel guards I'm just not good with building DSL bots and then the triangle pieces also would have done a better job of making it an accurate Bronco but again I just didn't know how to use them properly so that concludes the DSL mini series um so what we're gonna do is in the next bi-weekly we're gonna talk about the future of DSL and I'll, I guess I can hint at it a little bit um we obviously had a lot of problems so there's a lot of things that we probably can't and shouldn't do 
um, compared to like what we normally do series wise. But there is one thing that I really do want to do. It's something I've actually had planned out for a long time. And it's going to be finally time to unveil this idea to you guys. So what we're going to do is talk about that idea in the next bi-weekly, probably so two weeks from now. Uh, please check it out. Um, and please leave any input you have regarding DSL in this video and in the comments of that future bi-weekly. If there's anything else you want me to try besides the one thing I'm going to try, then we'll see what we can do. But uh, for now, that's the end of the DSL mini-series. Hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you are happy with the bots that we chose. I think we did. We covered a lot of different stuff. And hopefully, yeah, just hopefully you enjoyed, I guess. That's all I really have to say. Thank you for watching, and have a good one. Oh, we got under him. Oh, and a big flip. What a flip, Drogling, because look at this! Oh, he's been sent flying here. Yeah, how is he smoking? Where do you think you're going? I run from AIs. AIs shouldn't run from me.